All right, someone up in there. Ross. That's a fire. Ross, go Ross. Yeah. 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 Just Ross. I'll have you scooch a little bit more center. I look uncomfortable. You look good. Oh, thanks. I am significantly shorter. I think I am the shortest person here. Big Tex. Texas forever. Texas forever, baby. It's okay, we have, like, this is not live. <laughs> How would you describe the criminal justice program at Dort in one short word, thought, or phrase, and why? I would say the word personal is the first word that came to my mind. I feel like in criminal justice world right now, relationships are struggling between the criminal justice world and the community. We are growing relationships, and I feel like that's a huge thing, especially being uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. I would say like relational, the professors and just the people you're in classes with not only care about having a relationship with you, but also encouraging your relationship with Christ. It's experience-based because not only do we go out and do experiences like the prisons, but we are instructed by people who have actually done what they preach and um, whether it's a judge or FBI agents, we just get a lot of experience. I would probably describe it as more than just criminal justice. I'm sure we learn how to like be in the criminal justice system, whether it be law or law enforcement, but it teaches us skills that we can apply pretty much anywhere in our lives, like at family, as Christians, and also just as friends and students. How do you see the Dort criminal justice benefiting you? as a current student, and how is this helping you shape your path into the world and living for Christ? It's huge when you're in a, a field where everybody is at their worst when they call the police, and when the police are with you, you're at your, they're at their worst, and going in there with the love of Christ, and you can genuinely show compassion for other people, and you actually want to help somebody instead of just doing it for a paycheck. I would probably say, like, my work ethic. Like, I love what I do, but, like, it's, it's pretty busy. I'm a student athlete, so like I end up writing a lot of papers and I'm busy all the time and that's it's fun, but like You play football? <laughs> yeah, I'm from Texas and I play football, believe it or not. Yeah, so I love what I do and it keeps me busy. It really teaches us how to um, take the really difficult people in the world and some of the harder sins to deal with and just learn how to love on them and still love them as one of God's children. This summer I did an internship for my local sheriff's office and got the opportunity to listen in on an interview of a suspect who had shot and killed a, a police deputy. And through my experience through uh, one of my classes, I was able to understand what was going on in the interview and see some of the failings of the interviewer and things they could have done better. And it was just really cool to be able to be a part of that while having learned from Professor Moeller. Share your favorite class, exercise, event, or trip, and why is it beneficial? My favorite trip was definitely the, uh, oh shoot, I forgot what it was called. One of the juvenile detention centers that we went to. Just seeing like the kids, I definitely liked uh, seeing them and seeing them willing to like make a difference in their lives. My favorite class was crime scene. I want to go into forensics, so shocker there. I really liked when we did like a mock crime scene and got to like go through and like identify everything and measure things out and predict like why we thought everything happened the way it did. I really enjoyed going to Sioux City for the FAST train simulator, and that was a really good time. It was also a good time going to Chick-fil-A after, so. <laughs> Chick-fil-A! <laughs> even just, <laughs> even the, the experience of just feeling the stress that you would have to actually feel in the field is just kind of an eye-opening experience.